Mm-hmm. Hey y'all, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you. Whatever side of the diaspora that you are, you know, I want to welcome you to the mental house with me. Your host, Khadija. I want to give a shout out to everybody this morning and all of y'all who are taking this coronavirus seriously. Okay, now, I'm not here to say what's fake, what's real, because I know it's some uh, craziness in the game. It, it's political shit in the game. It always is when it comes to the United States. Okay, so I'm not so um, void that I'm not aware of that. Okay, what I am saying is that because we lead everything negative, like, Infant mortality, you know, it's just everything. You can look at us and see that um, all the sickness, all the redlining, or whatever is done, black people get the brunt of it. Okay, so if there is any truth to the coronavirus and its ability to strike us and knock us down faster than everybody else. Why won't you believe it? You know, um, I can understand the concept of breathing a carbon monoxide in and not giving it the ability to go come out. You putting a, you know, a mask on. I can agree with that. Uh, so on a scientific level, you have to study that and be okay with that for yourself personally. But I know none of y'all are crazy enough to think that schools should be opening back up and sending your babies out there. If Don, if 45 hasn't taught you anything, he's taught you and the rest of the whole world, regardless if you're black or white, that he doesn't care about us. And if he hasn't showed you that by now, you are so freaking far off the map, you need to fall off anyway. But the rest of us who want to live and who want to see a fair and uh, 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 equal or a just society, we already know that it's going to be problems. There's no perfect ones. But you can tell when a society is, is serious about making some changes because you keep your foot on the neck of that uh, 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 government just the way they kept their knee on the neck of George Floyd. Just like that. You can't let up. Okay, so with that being said, now you got Trump who wants to open back up the schools. Knowing that we are the most vulnerable, we are the most susceptible, we are the most gullible. So, he's sending us out there to be fodder again. And a lot of us are going to go for it. Just like when some of the governors told you you could go to the salons over there in Georgia. You went. The next day, I mean, you actually trust these people? Are you that damn out of control inside that you have to allow them to tell you everything what to do? Well, that means you were slaves still. That, but all of y'all have the ability to think if you sit down and try. Now, some may be thinking on different levels. Some may be in kindergarten. Some may be in first grade. Some may be in eighth grade. And we have to teach them accordingly. But to sit there and know that this same government that held back from you what was really going on in terms of how devastating this virus was. And to start wiping our asses out. And now you got black people. First, there was the misinformation that black people can't get the corona. And we were saying that, spewing that nonsense. 
Like we always act like we so woke. I think we would do a better job of telling our people, black people, vulnerable, gullible, uh, to follow the CDC guidelines. However, along with that, you have to do your own due diligence to save your own life. If you would just take 15 minutes a day and study, let somebody help you if you can't read. Because there's a lot of people in our community that can't. But they can dance and show up at the nail salon to get their hair done and nails done. I'm aware of that. That subculture. But you got to be set down and made to understand just how important you are. Because if you don't, you're spreading this disease all around and we can't afford you. We want you to make it to the new world. But if you're going to be, um, how they say it, uh, just mm, unsafe, first of all, but irresponsible and just not taking this very seriously, I don't know what we can do with you. Because just looking at what uh, uh, Donald, John, Donald Trump saying stuff like we back, we getting back on track. What have you seen other than these cases spiking up? Yeah, some people are living. Some people saying, oh, they're not counting all the people that's dying of heart attacks and blah, blah, blah. They don't have to. Something is killing these damn people. That you can't have a funeral and they dump them in um uh uh uh, uh, uh trucks and all this kind of crazy stuff. They've been talking about the virus for a long time. Go back and look. They knew they go in the laboratories and they create these damn viruses and diseases and stuff to unleash out on us. It has become so apparent, it's already known that the AIDS virus is not a natural configuration. It was made in some damn laboratory. So we know this. So you know what these demons are capable of. This is what you call biological warfare, right? Don't sit up there and tell our people that, oh, don't wear no mask. You don't got to do this. Listen, if you, gotta, if, if you are one of those... Uh, uh, what they call essential workers, which I just call frontline workers. Frontline. You still got to protect yourself. You worth it. And you got to do everything. And if you don't know and if you don't trust nobody in your family, everybody got somebody in their neighborhood that talk that talk. And y'all know what I'm talking about. So they may be good to listen to but you also got to balance it with something that you may see yourself. But that, that, that makes sense to you because everything don't that hit your head ain't the truth. But a lot of times when it hits your nervous system and it feel like the hair is on your back stand up, that's how truth works in most cases. Okay? So you got to find a way to balance the two. And you cannot be taking this stuff lightly. Okay? Because... Dr. Fauci already said that Donald Trump hasn't talked to him in two months. It's been a month since he even saw him, but he hasn't even briefed him or any of those things in two months. Because uh, he said he's a nice man, but he makes a lot of mistakes. So you already know when Trump started talking like that, he's dismissing the, the person. Now, this is the guy that worked under Bush. Clinton he done worked on everybody as one of these experts. And I'm not saying that he's not without flaws and that he ain't in there creating shit. Maybe that's why he can tell you about it then. Maybe he's the one that's, I don't know. I don't want to start that because y'all might take that and run with it. The bottom line I'm trying to say is this phase two and the shutdown that they have it is not a joke. Please take this shit serious. Something going on in the atmosphere. Something. And we have to do a better job of encouraging one another 
to stay safe, not dismiss everything. Take, you know, and I know you can get overloaded with information, right? So you have to find a way to be responsible enough and know that you loved enough to try to take care of your family and yourself and stay safe. And I spread this shit all up and down the neighborhoods. So if they say that comes from wearing a mask, wear a mask. What you got to lose? That's just the same crap when somebody tell you don't vote. Right? Maybe it don't matter. I don't know. But I can tell you like this. I've been an election inspector and I've worked the polls. And I've also organized people to vote. And I saw where it made a difference. I saw uh, a person that we selected to elect. That won a term that the uh, uh, people tried to recall him. And we put him back in office. Okay? So don't tell me that voting don't work. On a local level, it does work. And all politics are local. So don't feel... Don't let nobody tell you that shit. But it's just that with a bunch of other stuff. It ain't just that by itself. Come on, y'all. Y'all done come too far. Y'all, people, too many people done died for y'all to not think now. And the elders are there. If you should be for you, the ones that y'all trust, for any kind of guidance that you need. Because they love you enough not to steer you wrong. But y'all just can't go out here will, willy-nilly and thinking the most important thing for black people is to have your nails done and your hair done. Because it really ain't. Your important job is to stay alive. So please take this serious. And, and, and I'm praying that you do. Because this shit is just too crazy now. And this rate is going up too fast. And I do know people who died from the coronavirus. I heard Corey Holcomb say, who do you know? I know two people that died from it. Actually, I'm sorry, four people. Because one of them we found out, they said they had corona. So maybe the corona didn't kill them. Maybe it was something else. Because they had high blood pressure or some other extenuating issues. But what took them out is they couldn't breathe. Okay? And nobody could see them. And from all intents and purposes, it was the corona. No, I don't see it. No, I don't know what it looked like. I don't have to. I don't have to. Um, I see the results from it. So, whether I believe it or not, I know that like I said about voting, if it was if it didn't count at all, it wouldn't be so much voter suppression. If g only having a gun for black people wasn't important, you wouldn't see nobody having a damn gun buyback, but nobody in the damn black community. And they convince you it's because there's too much shooting going on in the community. So let me buy your gun back. So you can't you know, really exercise your constitutional right. So, they don't want you to bear arms. They don't want you to vote. To me, whether it works or not, I do enough crazy shit where that little stuff ain't gonna matter. I can go and vote. It ain't gonna matter. I waste time doing some other stuff. Probably like, that don't really matter. I don't want to even name them because y'all already know. We do a lot of stuff that can be time that can be wasted. So take them a few minutes and go on down and just see if it make a difference. Don't 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 play yourself like that. And don't let nobody else play you like that. Okay? I've often asked, does it really count? Does voting really count? I've said that as a person working the polls. But I know we count and how we tally. And at the end of the night, what we do. I know. And where we go with the votes. And then there's people sitting in the election room. Sometimes 
if you are an election inspector. Sometimes, if you are a ballot worker, you will be right there. Some of those people hide the votes. Yep. It's always a possibility of corruption. But they wouldn't hide the votes if it didn't matter. So that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. You got a free country and you got a free mind and free will and this like buttholes. Everybody got an opinion. Everybody got one. So, you don't have to agree with me. But this is just what I'm saying. And this is what I believe to be true. Okay? In fact, it's what I know <laughs> to be true. You can take it or leave it alone. It's that simple. Go vote. Stay away from people. Put on a mask. Right? They ain't gonna kill you. And don't take that shit home to your mother, your grandmama, because you know we all bunked up together. Don't do it. It ain't worth it. And don't listen to somebody that's living by themselves and ain't got to worry about infecting nobody but themselves. That being said, I love you. At the end of the day, take care of yourself. <laughs> See you in the next video.